In Commitment 2024, this week, South Carolina will hold the nation's first official Democratic primary of the election season. Well, the primary isn't until Saturday. Early voting is already underway. Our Peyton Furtado is live in Greenville with more on the expected voter turnout. Hey, Peyton. Hey, Mark. Yeah, while primary turnout is typically pretty low, we see about 30 percent of South Carolinian voters coming out for primaries like this. Officials say that number could rise just because of our historic placement this year and our competitive Republican primary coming up. You know, we've had about 14, 1500 people to vote in the Democratic presidential preference primary so far. It's the first time South Carolina has ever been the first official Democratic primary in the nation. And all eyes are on the state as early voting warms up the ballot box ahead of Saturday's Democratic primary. It's the race that usually determines who will be the nominee. We're very good at choosing the nominee. Crediting South Carolina with reviving his campaign back in 2020, Biden is ramping up visits to the Palmetto State. South Carolina is where his campaign is launching, and so of course he's not just playing to the South Carolina Democratic crowd, He's looking more broadly at the whole country and positioning himself for the general election. While the Democratic primary may not be very competitive with the sitting president in the race, the Republican primary on the 24th is bound to bring out the vote. State party officials hope that vote stays along party lines. They're concerned that Democrats are going to jump in, vote for Nikki Haley, give Nikki um, a much stronger showing than perhaps the press expects or the polls show, and that would hurt the former president, Donald Trump's chances of declaring all out victory. In South Carolina, anyone can vote in either primary, regardless of political affiliation, though you can only vote in one. State party officials like Jay Parmley encourage voters to vote for the party they agree with most instead of working to sabotage results of the one you don't. This idea that Democrats should go vote for Nikki Haley to stop Donald Trump is just stupid. Yeah, just a heads up, if you do plan on voting for this Democratic or Republican primary, just know that polling locations have switched around for some of that. Uh, if you need to learn more, uh, you can head to scvotes.gov or WYFF News 4 for more information. Live in Greenville County, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.